Hey, David, how are you? We didn't play very well. Uh, we competed at the appropriate level for stretches, and one stretch in the third quarter where we played the way we want to play kind of broke the game open, and we were able to hold on. Okay. What do you expect? Of, I mean, what sort of change for you in that first quarter that you, you managed to get that big lead? First game of the season. Everybody's a little bit excited. Everybody wants to prove themselves. We want to play in a certain way. We feel like we're chasing something significant with our level of execution. It's normal that things don't go smooth at the beginning. Um, really proud of the guys, how they settled down. They came out. They played the right way, shared the ball, competed. It was a very good third quarter. Did you feel, you know, over the, as the game went on, that the guys, I guess, felt more comfortable playing with each other also than the beginning? Fair assessment. Right, and I think... I'm. We're going to be a very good defensive team. It's going to take us time to understand all our schemes, and we gave a lot of cheap stuff at the beginning of the game that we're not supposed to give. But we're going to be a very good defensive team at the end. Yeah, I mean, to piggyback off that, I thought we showed glimpses, obviously, of our identity and who we ultimately want to be um, for a consistent base throughout the 40 minute game. But obviously we didn't do it for 40 minutes. And you know, when you don't do that, you let a good team like that, get, you know, get up in the um, open floor, get easy ones. And, you know, they stopped the bleeding. So we have to continue to be disciplined on offense and defense. And, you know, it's the first game of the season. We'll get there. It was amazing. I mean, I played in some great arenas, and um, that's pretty special. You know, obviously they showed out for, for TA, but I mean, it's a great fan base, and it's a great arena. I mean, I'm shocked. Can't wait to play here all season. And Manny, how did you sort of balance, or what did you balance with Tom, you know, recognizing and celebrating his 400th and what happened at the beginning of the game, but also, you know, moving on and, and then concentrating on the game as well? I want to balance it out at all. Um, I want all of my players and I want every young basketball player in New Zealand to look at Tom and aspire to be more like him. We'll win more games and they'll have better careers. So we're not looking to balance this at all. The one thing I want to balance out is the excitement about the history. Forget about it. He's amazing right now. So let's enjoy who he is. It was a great way to start the game as well, wasn't it, with the stone dunk from him? Not bad. Chris Parker, Australia. Yeah, Parker, I wanted to ask you about that. This is your first game playing with, with Tom and the very first play of the game. You get to throw in an alley oop and it's a, it's a trademark finish from, from him over his 400 games. That's, that's something you'll never forget. Yeah, I mean, I'm honoured, you know, to be able to be a part of that. You know, TA is, can't really say enough about the guy. He's the ultimate professional and, you know, we want to, Maybe we wanted to make this night special for him, and you know, he could still get up and jump and go get the ball. So I just placed it where he could go get it. When you dream up your, your debut for, the, for playing in the NBA, your first game for the Breakers, and to get a win to finish with 25 points, and assists, and six steals, and, and to play as well as you did, did this night almost go as well as you, you could have hoped? No, he's a lot better than this. This was a very average performance from him, and the fact that the numbers look nice is fine. He's a lot better than what he played today. I agree. I would just say I have great teammates. Uh, it's a great culture. Um, and, you know, the staff pushes us in the right way each day. And, you know, I continue to get better, and they have the confidence in me. So I just go out and do what I have to do. I'm sure you're looking forward to, to playing alongside Will, but to start the season and to get the chance to run the, the point guard spot yourself, but for at least for tonight, was that, was that good for you, just to find your feet a little bit? Yeah. I mean, you know, I played point guard all my life, so it's not too hard. But, <laughs> you know, just trying to do my job um, for my teammates. They, you know, they needed me to lead tonight. And, you know, I'm excited to get Will back in the fold. It's going to be special. And, you know, we know he's ready to come back and join us and be everything that he's been to this club. So tonight was fun, but, you know, we're waiting for his arrival. and. Montes as well. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you like what you got out of the combination of your, your big fellas with, with 
was a bit of a tough start for Mango with the three fouls early, but he worked into the game nicely. And, and what you got out of, out of the Zylan was nice as well. Did you did you like your signs that you got in that in that area? We were much better on the defensive glass after the first quarter, which was very important. I think we gave seven offensive rebounds in the first. That was horrendous. But we gave up 65 points at the rim. It's not only the bigs. They were in shows most of the game, kept them out of the paint a little bit. But still, 65% from two is not going to cut it. I expect a lot more from everybody, by the way, not just the bigs. And just lastly from me, do you know when Will do you have any indication at this point? Tomorrow. You got it? Yes. Yep, tomorrow. We are done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.